So your new ghost city just arrived at your house and you're trying to figure out how to put this thing together. This is like the perfect video for you. When you open the box, you see all the components inside. Now let's take a look at what's inside. The Ghost City Owner's Pamphlet. The Ghost City Owner's Manual. A 4mm and 5mm Allen key. A 15mm wrench. A removable battery. Two keys. A charger. A partially assembled saddle. Two folding pedals, one labeled for the right side and one labeled for the left side. The folding stem and the seat post quick release. And a bike. Obviously there's, there's a bike in there. Make sure to follow the included instructions to register your bike. Now it's time to get to work. Grab something sharp and start cutting. When cutting the zip ties, make sure not to cut any cables or scratch the bike. As you remove the packing material, you can place them inside the box and recycle according to local regulations. Now it's time to put it together. Unfold the bike at the center hinge. Pull up on the latch assembly as you move it over into position. Tighten it down so it is secure. This is a good time to place the kickstand up if you're working alone. Place the seat post quick release around the seat post tube. Slide the seat post into the seat post tube and tighten the quick release. Double check that the saddle is secure. Using the 5mm Allen key, loosen and remove the head tube bolt. Remove only the bolt and the small black disc washer. When shipped, the washer will be upside down. Make sure to remove the bolt and turn it so the lettering is facing up. Place the folding stem on the head tube and reinstall the head tube bolt. The folding lever should be facing about 45 degrees to the left. This is to ensure that the stem will fold properly. Before tightening down the stem completely, place the front wheel in between your legs and straighten the handlebars. Using the 5mm Allen key, tighten down the bolts just underneath the folding mechanism. To install the handlebars, simply slide them into the folding stem and adjust them for you. To install the pedals, make sure that you're utilizing the right pedal for the right side and the left pedal for the left side. Start threading them by hand and finishing them off with a 15mm wrench. Remember that both of the pedals are reverse threaded so they will tighten when turned towards the front wheel. Depending on your saddle height, you may have to raise it slightly in order to slide the battery in and out of place. There are three notches on the battery track that correspond with the three notches in the battery. Make sure to line those up as you're setting it down into the battery track. Always remember to lock your battery into place. If applicable, you can now put the saddle back down to your riding height. To fold the pedals, press in and then put pressure either up or down. Using the 4mm Allen key, remove both of the bolts on the rear right fork. Put the derailleur guard into place and begin by hand tightening, finishing it off with the 4mm Allen key. When installing the second bolt, remember to grab the support arm for the rear fender. Placing it on top, securing both the rear fender and the derailleur guard. Now that your bike's put together, here's a few quick tips to get you on the road. Always make sure your battery's secured and in the on position. To turn the bike on, hold down the middle button until the screen comes to life. The screen shows us several things, such as battery level, current speed, and errors, if any. If the readouts read 000, there are currently no errors. You can tap the up arrow button to raise pedal assist levels. Pedal assist levels range from zero to five. By clicking the down arrow, you can lower pedal assist levels. To turn on the lights, hold down the up arrow for three seconds. You'll now see a light icon displayed in the lower left side. To utilize the throttle, make sure the safety button is clicked in and twist backwards for acceleration. And don't forget about that bell. To activate the walk mode, hold the down button for 3 seconds. This will engage the motor to assist you in walking. To turn off walk mode, hold the down button for 3 seconds or simply tap the brakes. To utilize the pedal assist, just pedal the bike normally like you would on any other bike. Before takeoff, make sure that your wheels are straight and enjoy the ride.